and uh, they were very upset by this. The revolution was unusual for the surprise it created throughout the world. It lacked many of the customary causes of revolution, produced profound change at great speed, was massively popular, and replaced a monarchy with an Islamic-based government. I remember talking to a CIA person who was reflecting on the period of, you know, 77, 78, and, um, and he said that we would watch him giving speeches and we would get as close to the TV set as we could and try and spot whether or not we could see any evidence that he was ill. Knowing that someone is ill is very different from hearing that someone is ill. So I think that there were rumors that there was an illness, I would assume uh, as early as um, maybe late 77. Uh, but I don't think there was a knowledge that he was ill. And the fact of the matter is that with almost every significant uh, world leader, there are stories about illness that prove not to be true. I think that what they're saying is wrong. Uh, and I don't think that the, the whole history of this has yet to be written, but I believe that there was not a huge intelligence gap. We looked, we did not ignore Iran. For many, many years, even though we were allied, it was not as important as a high on the target list as the Soviet Union, but we paid a lot of attention to what was going on in Iran. Uh, we, the British, uh, carefully followed what was going on with Khomeini, and as I, I mentioned a min minute ago, we listened to what he was saying, uh, things were translated, analysts look at it, and it's one of those situations where the intelligence was very good, or reasonably good, uh, and we listened to what they were saying, and the way events evolved were very different from what the intelligence was saying up until the very end. As I, you know, if you look, for example, even Khomeini, uh, we listened to everything the Sola said publicly and privately, uh, using all sorts of uh, resources for uh, for years. In any, in any case, in '79, they started. Uh you know, and our diplomats were faulted for not knowing enough about Iran when we had full relations, uh, not sensing that the white revolution of the Shahs, uh, as it was called, uh, wasn't uh, widely accepted. It was described as something very much welcomed by the, the poor, by the countryside.